What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender animation tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to set up a car so that the wheels rotate with the movement of the car. So in this video, we're gonna set this up so the wheels rotate based on um, the location of our car. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first things first, you can download this model from Sketchfab and follow along. So this is licensed under the attribution and share alike license. So um, you can, I will link to this in the notes down below so you can find this model and follow along as we do this. So I've used the Sketchfab add-on to bring this model in. And the cool thing about this model is the wheels are already parented to these empties. And what that means is that means that we don't have to go through and take all the individual pieces pieces and parent them together. They're already done. So now I can move this empty or I can rotate this empty like this and the whole wheel is going to rotate. So very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the transformation settings under item and I'm going to set these front wheels to zero degrees on this axis. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from uh, um, this value right here to the XYZ Euler, um, just because that's going to affect our rotation. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the Z rotation of the front two wheels to zero, just so everything is facing forward. So now I've got my tires in here ready to go. And remember that you're going to want to change all of these to that XYZ value. Otherwise, your uh, your units in here are going to be kind of screwed up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change these over, over here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our car. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our car and we're going to parent it to an empty. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to only move one object in order for our car to move instead of having to move every little part and piece by selecting them all. What we want to do instead is we're just going to select the whole or actually we're going to add an empty. So we're going to do a shift A empty. I'm going to add the plane axes. Um, you can kind of add whatever you want, but I'm going to add the plane axes right here. And I'm just going to move that so that it's on top of my car. And what we're going to do is we're just going to link this model to this empty. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here and I'm just going to select this geometry right here. And then I'm going to do a shift click and I'm going to select my entry empty and I'm going to do a control P and I'm going to parent that to my object and I'm going to do the parent to object keep transform. So now if I move this empty, Notice how my car moves as well. That's because everything inside of this car was parented to this empty. Well, now what we want to do is we want to parent these separately. So I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to do a shift click. I'm going to select all of these. And then I'm going to select my empty. I'm going to do a control P. And again, we're going to parent to object, keep transform. And so right now that hasn't changed anything. Right, so what we've done is we've just parented this all to the empty so it all moves as one object. Well now, we wanna go in and we wanna set the rotation of these wheels. And so you could go into the animation section and if you were just doing like a regular um, animation, you could set different keyframes and all of that, but we don't really wanna do that. What we wanna do instead is we wanna tie the rotation of our wheels to the empty. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we need to go into the corresponding rotation inside of our item and we need to set that so that it rotates automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to zero in this case. And so in this case, you can see how the rotation associated with our wheel, um, the way that this should turn is the X rotation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to zero, but then I'm gonna right click in here and there's an option in here for adding a driver. And so what a driver does is it basically allows you to apply a mathematical equation to an object based on its based on a variable. And so what we want in this case is we're going to set up an expression in here that sets your rotation value based on the location of this empty. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're just gonna right click in here. I'm gonna edit the driver because I already created the driver. And what we wanna do is we wanna change this expression. And so the expression, instead of being VAR plus something, it's gonna be VAR times and then a value. So for now, we're gonna put it as one. We're gonna adjust that in a second. But basically what you're saying is um, this value, the rotational value is going to equal a variable of our choosing times a value that we choose. 
And so the variable in this case is going to be the X location of this item right here, the empty. So what that means is that means we want to go in here and we want to find our empty. So I'm just going to select empty. I'm going to click on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the location of that empty in order to drive this. So we want this to basically say that our rotation should be our X location times a variable. So right now, because that's times one, what that means is that means that if we were to move this along the X axis, you can see that our tire is turning based on the location of that object. But a couple different things are going on. So first off, the tire is moving the wrong direction right? Um, it's spinning the wrong way. The second thing is we needed to spin a little bit faster. So we're going to go back in here, select this object, and we're going to edit our driver again. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to variable times three and hit the enter key. So now if we move this, you can see how our tire is spinning faster based on that X location, but it's still spinning the wrong way. So we can adjust that just by changing that value to a negative. So I'm going to edit this driver and we're going to do variable times negative three. Now, if I move this, you can see how my tire is rotating with my car, just like this. So now this is automatically going to rotate our tire, but we need to take this and we need to apply it to our other wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to click on the button for copy driver. Then I'm going to right click on this value right here. I'm going to make sure these are all set to zero. And then I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to click on paste driver. So now that driver has been applied to both wheels. So our wheels are now moving with our car. So we can do the same thing over here. So go ahead and set these to zero. On my X, we're just going to click paste driver. And on this one, right click, we're going to click on paste driver. So now you can see how our tires are all rotating with our car. And for some reason, this one tire is rotating the wrong way. I'm not 100% sure why, and I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm just going to edit this driver so that this one is a variable of three. So now it's going to move in the proper direction. So now we've got this car that we've animated where our tires are going to rotate with our car movement. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know how to do this? I just love having that conversation with you guys. Or if you have any ideas for future animation type tutorials like this that you'd be interested in, let me know. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. So make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I'll We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.